Almaray's dairy production exceeds 1 billion liters per year, which are produced by a herd of over 170,000 cows, the largest in the region. It also launched partnerships with local companies like Allied Farmers Company, which invests in farms in Ukraine and the United States of America, from who Almaray imports more than 600,000 tons of feed annually. Those 600,000 tons of U.S. feed, most of it comes from Arizona. And to understand how Arizona hay and alfalfa end up going to Saudi cows is to first understand that the world and all its people and problems are connected, all linked, and that includes climate change. The question is whether those connections allow for the kind of changes we need to effectively fight climate change. The question is whether global political interests, government national security interests, transnational financial interests, small business commercial interest and individual self-interest can be managed or reconfigured or dispensed with to create sensible policies. The science tells us over and over that we have just a few years to act to prevent the truly disastrous effects of climate change. Maybe we have 10 years, maybe 20 or 30, but any way you cut it, we have to act. And if we don't, a global cataclysm will tumble upon us with full force. Climate change isn't simply a question of better policies or cleaner technology. It's about how all the connections, political and economic, individual and societal, local and global, past, present, future, are part of the equation. And that makes the equation exponentially more difficult to change and more complicated to understand. But understand we must, because if we don't, well, that story doesn't have a happy ending for any of us.